What's up, conscious creators? Alex here, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the basics of sex transmutation, otherwise known as sex energy transmutation. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to use this power to create more of what you want in your life, whether that's achieving certain creative goals, career or business goals or health goals or even an ability to attract new relationships. So stay tuned until the very end of this video because you're gonna wanna get all the information so you can apply it properly and get the results. So just a very quick announcement before we get straight into it, a few more slots have opened up for the free one-to-one -one with me to see if you'd be a good fit for the Consciousness Revolution program. So if that interests you, then head over to speaktoalex.com or wait till the end of the video for more details. But with that being said, let's get straight into it. So what even is sex energy? Well, the yogis, the Taoists, and the mystics had certain views on what this energy is, and there are many ways in which you could talk about it. But here, I'm gonna just keep it real simple and start with the basics. Sex energy, or sexual energy, essentially starts off as the psychological and spiritual drive to procreate, basically feeling horny. It's one of the most primal and most potent drives originating deep from within the lizard brain. And so what is transmutation? Basically, to transmute in this context means the changing of one form of energy into another. And so why would you want to transmute sexual energy? Well, because we only have so much of it. Notice how you can't really have sex or masturbate forever and ever, and you'll eventually lose interest. And nowadays, people are unconsciously spending this energy, this drive on sex, porn, or masturbation. And we live in a modern world where online dating gives some people easy access to a seemingly limitless number of thirsty members of the opposite sex. And what's even more prevalent is the ability to load up high speed, high definition, limitless novelty porn at any time and unconsciously spend that energy on it whenever the urge arises. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not making any moralistic judgments here. I believe all are free to do as they wish and I'm totally pro-conscious sex and masturbation. But I do believe in education and that leads to the ability to make informed choices. And so if you know that you can often spend the energy elsewhere, you might want to do that. You might just find out how powerful it really can be. And you might just discover an untapped source of energy and drive that you can use to supercharge the journey of your business, career, relationship, or health goals and turn your dreams into a reality. So, how do we transmute it? Well, firstly, we don't wanna be suppressing it. Sex energy transmutation does not mean sex energy suppression. What you do to transmute it, as Napoleon Hill states in his book, Think and Grow Rich, is switch the mind from thoughts of physical expression to thoughts of some other nature. However, despite my reverence of Napoleon Hill, he missed something out. What he could have said, and I believe this is a fuller explanation, is the foundational action of sex energy transmutation is to move your attention from sexual thoughts to thoughts of some other nature, or into the present moment, your sense perceptions, or a creative task. So just like if I look at the camera and then pay attention to what the camera looks like, and then I pay attention to any sound I can hear in the room, I'm moving my attention. And if I have a thought in my mind, and I pay attention to it, and then I pay attention to the camera, and what the camera looks like again, I'm moving my attention. So the basics of sex transmutation is to move the attention from sexual thoughts that arise in your mind to something else, which in most cases, 
for most people is going to be the task at hand or thoughts about the task at hand. Let's say you have an income goal in your business or a goal for your business to positively influence a certain number of people. When sexual thoughts arise in your mind that you usually unconsciously follow on autopilot towards the acts of sex or masturbation, you switch your attention to thoughts and activities that are gonna lead you towards your goal. And if you're not doing or thinking about a certain activity at that time, then simply move your attention onto your sense perceptions and become aware of the present moment. Become aware of your own awareness. Become aware that you are the space that contains the thoughts and the feelings in the form of bodily sensations and that you don't have to act on them unconsciously. Okay, but what if it all just gets too much? What if you're completely overwhelmed with horniness and you just can't take your mind off sex or porn? Well, there's a few things you can do, which I'll briefly explain here. The first thing you can do is to take a cold shower, which is actually one of the best ways to help calm the drive to release sex energy through physical expression. It has this kind of effect of spreading the energy throughout the body, allowing you to feel more balanced and focus that energy into your manifestation goals. The second thing you can do is high intensity exercise. And that means when you feel super horny and you can't just take your mind off physical expression, do something very active, very physical, like 20 quick push-ups or a, splint, a sprint around the block. This again will help you to feel more balanced again. The third thing you can do is a breathing and muscle contraction exercise that I'll demonstrate here. And this is what this little picture speaks to because you don't have to be sitting in that position, but essentially it's a breathing motion in combination with a set of muscle contractions and using the imagination to pull energy up from the base of the spine right to the top of the head. Using your imagination and following that path with your attention. So essentially what it is, is a deep breath in, and then you squeeze your PC muscles, pelvic floor muscles, and those are the muscles which are used to control and stop, you know, like a stream of wee wee, you know, like a urine stream, You when you stop that, <laughs> that's your PC muscles activating. So deep breath in, clench the PC muscles, and then clench the abs and then clench the chest. And as you're doing this, you're imagining that you're pulling this energy up. You're tracing your attention from the base of your spine all the way up as you contract the PC muscles, the abs, the chest, and then this imaginary kind of push up to the crown of the head or actually what in the mystic circles they call the third eye. Um, essentially, getting this energy from the base of the spine up into the head. And this has an effect, again, of spreading the energy throughout the body, helping you to feel more balanced and centered. And the mystics even believed that this had a particular power of moving that life force energy from the root chakra all the way up to the higher chakras where it could be converted into higher consciousness. The fourth thing you can do is meditate. And this can be challenging for some people because when you sit down to meditate with a lot of sexual energy, you can really feel it in your body like a warm sensation or a buzzing sensation possibly around this groin area or other areas, it can feel electric. And you can be hyper aware of corresponding sexual thoughts. The trick is not to try and suppress it, but to simply sit in it, to become aware that you are the awareness, the space that contains these feelings and thoughts and not the feelings and thoughts themselves. And to train yourself to simply be with them.
And after a certain amount of time, the thoughts will tend to subside and you'll be just left with the feeling, which after a while tends to spread from that groin area around the rest of the body with this effect of powering up your whole system and it's actually a very empowering feeling. But what if you've tried all these things and you're still really unbalanced or uncomfortable? Well, you know, if you're trying to reach a certain semen retention or nofap streak, then you're obviously not going to want to give up. You're going to want to try and remember that you know, you got into this in the first place for certain reasons to remember that why and know these sensations are transitory. Try some of the things I mentioned again and if all else fails, just know you'll probably feel better later or tomorrow. But if you are going to release the sexual energy through physical expression and this is not something that I'm against and despite what some people on the extreme end of the NoFap community say, this is always an option. If you are going to do it, then make it conscious. Make a conscious decision that this is what you're gonna do and really be with it and be with the action in the present moment and never, ever beat yourself up or have shame or guilt about it. This will not help anything and some people do deal with this. This will cause unnecessary suffering. And if your goal is no fap or semen retention, it will actually hamper your streaks and usually make them shorter. Remember why you're doing this. As an attempt to live life to the fullest, just do the best you can and jump back on the path to consciously creating more of what you want in your life. And so with that being said, here's a little bit more detail about the Consciousness Revolution program. On this program, we help you overcome low confidence or low self-esteem that's holding you back from doing what you really want to do in your life. If you're done with living a mediocre life of the same stuff day in, day out, and wanna try and build something that positively contributes to the world, and in exchange brings abundance to your life, this program is for you. Or if you're a conscious entrepreneur that has had some momentum but has ran into some blocks and wants help with taking things to the next level, this program is also for you. So head over to speaktoalex.com and book a time for us to chat about solving your problems. And with that being said, if you liked this video, of course, don't forget to click that subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos helping you with conscious personal growth. Peace.